Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Lyles. I hope you survived week one of multiplying last week and now we're headed to perimeter. But before we go on, I wanna make sure that you go ahead and finish um, your week one assignments if you haven't already. Go ahead and click submit. And when, you, when I get them, I will look them over and if they were great, I'll send them back probably with a grade of 100. But if they didn't, I'll put some notes like see slide number seven, for example. So if I send it back to you with some notes, please make those corrections and resend it back to me and I'll look it back, look back over it for you, okay? Be sure and click submit on a Google assignment when you're all finished. All right, well, let's look at perimeter. Go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Go ahead and pause if you need to. Sorry, my notes is itching tonight. Because as we work through examples, you'll probably want to pause it, put what you think the answer is, and then go ahead and push play and check. So we're talking about perimeter. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch my screen so you can see what I am writing. Okay, so when we talk about perimeter, we're talking about shapes. It doesn't matter what shape it is. It could be a rectangle. Remember what makes a rectangle a rectangle are these two opposite sides. This side and this side are equal as well as that side and this side. Those opposite sides are equal and they're parallel. Don't forget a rectangle also has little right angles, 90 degree angles. Okay, those are called right angles. And when we're talking about perimeter, we're talking about like a fence. Like if I have a house, so let's say this is my house. Here's my house. And let's say it's time to put a new fence around my house. So when they come and measure, they're gonna come measure the outside distance around my house. And so I'm just doing this on graph paper and they'll say, well, Mrs. Lyles, how many feet do you need? Well, if each one of these little boxes was a foot, I'd say, well, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I need 30 feet of fencing. I have a very small house. So remember, perimeter is only the outside edges, okay? And when you have graph paper, you can find the area, or excuse me, you can find the perimeter by counting each little square. But a lot of times when we look at rectangles, we don't have the graph paper. And so they would give us the dimensions. They might say, okay, well, this side is 10 feet. And maybe this side is five feet. And this side is 10 feet. And this side is five feet. Don't forget it's a rectangle. So this side should be equal to the opposite side, as well as this side should be equal to this side. Okay, so the perimeter is the distance around it, like a fence. Think about like a piece of bread, the crust on the bread, we could take that off and only the crust of that would be the perimeter. So to find the perimeter, you add all the sides. Okay. So for this one, I have 10 feet. That's this side. I have five feet. That's that side. I have 10 feet, that's my third side, and I have five feet, and that is my last side. So zero plus five plus zero plus five, that's 10, carry my one, one, two, three. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 30 feet. That's the distance, if I were to start walking and walk around the house, that's what it would be, okay? But it doesn't have to be a 
tri or a rectangle, it could be a triangle. So if I drew a triangle having three sides, and they said, well, this side is four inches, and this side is four inches, and this side maybe is a little bit smaller, three inches. Okay. Well, I have one, two, three sides. So I need to make sure I'm adding up all the sides. Four plus four plus three. So that's four plus four is eight. Nine, 10, 11. So 11 inches is the perimeter for that triangle. For perimeter, you add all the sides. Sometimes they try to get a little tricky, especially with rectangles. Now keep in mind what I told you about rectangles. Sometimes with rectangles, they'll say, hmm, well, if this side is eight feet and this side is um, five feet, what's the perimeter? And a lot of times people will just add eight plus five and say 13. But that's not true. This is a four-sided shape. So we always have to make sure if it has four sides, I'm adding up four numbers. So let's think about what we know about rectangles. If I know this side is eight feet, well, it's a rectangle. That means this opposite side should be exactly the same size, okay? So if this side is eight feet, that means this side is eight feet. And the same way with my other ones. If this side is five feet, well, it's a rectangle, so this side should be five feet as well. Okay, the, in a rectangle, opposite sides are equal, eight feet, eight feet. Okay, so now I have four sides. I know their measurements, so now I add them up. Eight plus eight plus five plus five. So eight plus eight is 16, plus five is 21, okay, plus five more would be 26 feet. Okay, now they do the same tricky thing with a square. Think about what we know about a square. A square is a square because all four sides are the same length. So if they told you only this one side, and we know for perimeter, we have to add all the sides, but you're thinking, well, I don't know how long those sides are. But keep in mind, it's a square. So if this side is five inches, then this side has to be five inches as well. This side has to be five inches, and this side has to be five inches. If it's a square, all four sides are the same length. So I would add five, four times, five, 10, 15, 20, 20 inches. We always wanna label it with whatever unit we're measuring, okay? But don't let them trick you when they only give you one side. Now, those have all been some pretty normal shapes. But sometimes they might give you an irregular shape. They might give you something that looks maybe like this, something kind of strange, okay? There's no normal name for that shape. That's an irregular shape. Well, if we wanna find the perimeter, we would simply measure how many little units. Sometimes before when we did this, remember I, made those kind of marks but you can also do things like sometimes i'll check them off like i'll be like okay there's one there's two because i'm measuring this little bit here's another one so there's three okay now i'm going to turn and go this one here's four here's another one there's five here's another little piece there's six there's seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So this 
irregular shape has a perimeter of 22 units. We don't know if they're feet or inches or yards or whatever it might be. But that was the same thing I did before. Instead of the little, little hash mark, I made little bubbles. So it's whatever you prefer. You can go one, two, three, okay? So that side, this one side has a measurement of three, one, two. So this side has a measurement of two. There's a little one right here for this side. This one is one, two, three, four. So four units. Um, one, two, three, four. That side has four units. One, two, three. There's three. Now there's one, there's one, and there's one, and then one, two. So if I were to add up all those numbers, I'm just showing you another way to solve it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. But just simply remember perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. <clears throat> Sometimes it could be even like a trapezoid. Trapezoids have four sides, okay? And they have one set of parallel sides. So if they said, okay, this side is 19 meters, this side is 14 meters, 21 meters, and 13 meters. Think a minute, how would you find the perimeter? Okay, so this is a good time to pause, find the perimeter by adding all the sides, and then when you're ready, check it. Okay, so here we go, 19 plus 14 plus 21 plus 13. I'm going to add those up. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the perimeter of this shape is 67 meters. All right. Let's do another one on graph paper. Sometimes they might even just give you a rectangle on graph paper. Okay, take a minute, pause, and count to see, just using your finger on the screen, what the perimeter of this rectangle is. So pause, and when you're ready, push play again and check. Okay, so let's check it. So this side, there is one, two, three, four, five, Okay, and I'm counting from like little squares. Let's count the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, being a rectangle, this side should be five. Well, let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then let's check this side. It should be seven because the opposite side should be the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's say they're feet. All right, so let's go over here and add five plus seven plus five plus seven. Okay. So seven plus five, that's 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 is our perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around the outside of our shape. When you get to the Google Classroom assignment, take the time to read through the instructions. They give you lots of instructions. And then submit your Google Classroom assignment, and then there's a quiz, okay? So make sure you know what you're doing before you take the quiz. All right, I hope you have a great week. I'm trying to get back to my 
Zoom so I can see you. There we go. Yeah, I'm back. I hope you have a great week. Email me if you have any questions. W L I L E S at johnrettschool.org. And I will talk to you soon. See you next week. Bye bye.